Hi and welcome to Practice with Petronella. Grab your cello and grab your bow and let's play together. So today we are going to do a follow up on the left hand because there is so much to do with this hand. It's a very important hand to be able to play beautiful melodies. So we're going to continue. And last time, last video was... You remember, of course, because you repeated the video. So this time... Last time we did down, bum, so we went up, so now we're going down. So that's how creative we are today. So we are here, we practice that a lot, so we know that very well. We also know that these two are married in a good relationship, not forcing each other together, just being there to support each other. We also know that the hand position is like a bottle that you drink. I have my Royal Albert Hall whole bottle here so it's like clunk, clunk, clunk. okay that's the position we have on the hand and the weight we have a wonderful arm so use the precious weight we have we don't have to work at all so relax cello playing is the art of relaxation of course so we do <laughs> Like we did in the last video, we're gonna sing first because cello playing starts in the head and then goes out to the cello. So, da 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 da, g a a g g a a g. Sing with me. G a a g. G A A G. You got it. Yes. Like I explained in the last video, we are always very happy when we do something good. So then we do like, yes, or whatever you do. You can do something more so Like, yeah, calm also. I'm a bit crazy, as you know. So we do. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's do it. Da, da. Wait in the in the string. Awesome. I start scratching my. Oh, whew, what's with me today? D A A G D A A G D A A G. Awesome. Yeah. What we do? We do. Yes. We did it. Woo. -hoo. So this is super good because the next development is of course beautiful so it's not so it's not the most beautiful melody maybe but this is a very good exercise yeah, all the technic uh, technical shallow books, they love this exercise. So, And it, it is a good exercise because we want to train our muscles. We want them to get like super, super strong and flexible. So this is a very, very nice thing. So let's do it. <laughs> are starting to get cramp now you know that is the proof that you are tensing too much okay because this should not be tense exercise this should be like chilling this is chill exercise we're chilling we're just <laughs> yeah you could do this all day because we want to be relaxed so this is also a very good like receipt 
to checking, am I, am I relaxed or not? Am I actually so relaxed that I think I am? Because we want to be relaxed and we want to just put the weight on. If I'm doing this, drumming on the cello, tense, like, Ugh! doesn't sound so much. Now, I'm tensing the whole arm and I'm like, Ugh. but if I am relaxed, you have a perfect drum. So this is actually, oh, this is ex exactly the same when you play. So, and of course, we have some checkpoints. Huh? So remember your checkpoints. I'm always like oh, checking, playing like that. But we do our checkpoint, the bottle, the marriage, the good marriage, the weight. And then breathing and playing. This is the way. Easy. You can do a, you can experiment with a little bit different rhythms and like you can that. So here you can be creative, huh? Do what you feel like and what you Feels good, huh? Now we did it on the G string. Woohoo! So let's move over to the C string. Yeah, let's go to the C string now. Wow. So we think first in our head how does this sound? Da -di. And we're gonna do the first exercise that we did on the G string. So it's da 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 da. C D. singing this. Voila. Yeah. We put the weight into the string and C string is a bit fat so it needs more more weight into it, okay? have a mirror at home it could be a good idea to sneak peek on the mirror how it looks when you play because maybe you are doing things that you're not aware of it can happen especially in the beginning when you play cello so this is one of the things with the arm people like to sit like this and it's a bit closed I don't I feel very locked if I would play like this and I would be like oh, 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 every time I play so try to be open Try to oh, try to be open to have your arm open and flexible, so you can like woo, if you need to. You know, you never know. So openness is always nice. Then you're flexible, open, relaxed. Okay. So let's do it again and. Let's do number two. It was. C string, G string, check. Let's go to D string. So here we do the checkpoints. Okay, marriage, bottle, flexibility and openness and relaxation. Okay, and we sing it in our head. Da, da, D, E, D, E, D, E, 
okay? D, E, D, D, E, E, D. Okay, we are ready. about is to use the fingertips so I hope you cut your nails no nails we don't need nails when we play cello it's unnecessary so use the fingertips huh this is a, another thing so now we can do the fast one fast level number two and relax relax So that's good. Just continue. If you want to repeat anything, you just stop the video and you do it again. Huh? Remember that? It's very good. And if it's too much with all strings, you just do one string a day. That's also fine. Everything is fine. So, A string. Yeah, you see? So, A, B, A, B. singing it to get it in our head because that's where the shallow playing is starting okay now we can do it da, 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 da. okay photo marriage wait openness okay <laughs> play a little bit with it and that was the exercise for today I hope that you repeat this video so we can sink in there because it takes some time even if you mentally understand what I'm saying your body is normally a little bit slower than the brain so it takes some time for your body to to work it out you know to adjust to your playing and that's fine that's normal so Give your body time. Don't get frustrated with the body. Just give it space. Give it time. That's uh, really the key to good and nice life, actually. It's not only shallow playing. Like, there was this uh, violinist that they asked. He was always playing the right notes. And one journalist asked him, like, how is it possible? How can you always play the right note? And the violinist said, yeah, I never played the wrong note. But I don't understand, the, violin uh, the journalist said. Yeah, but I never play faster than that I can play the right note. So he always took it in the so slow tempo that he never did a mistake. And I think it's a great story. And it's great if you can do that. My videos are a little bit faster. I'm sorry. But just pause the video when you need time. Yeah. So that's all for today. Thank you for being here. And see you next time.